Morning, ladies and gentlemen, birthday warrior here, trusting that you are doing well. I forgot to put on the light on my tripod. So how are you this beautiful Wednesday? Trusting that you are doing well, my sister and brother. So let us continue. I was going to go outside, but there's too much noise out there right now. And so let us go into, ye shall receive power. Don't we want the power of the Holy Spirit to be always with us? So let's go into our topic today. He shall receive power, and his true miracles will happen again. True miracles will happen again. Let us bow for prayer. Father God, I thank you. Thank you, Father God, for waking us up this morning, clothed in our right mind, Father God. We thank you for giving us the strength, Father God, to do the different assignments that you have given us today, Father God. So, Father God, we ask you right now that you will decrease me, Father God, so that you will be increased. Allow your Holy Spirit, Father God, to take full control. I thank you in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay, state, true miracles will happen again. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keeps the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. And this is coming from Revelation 14, verses 12. And you know I like to read Revelation uh, chapter 14, and I usually start at verse 6 when we talk about Babylon. Babylon is falling. It's a false system, and God is calling his children out of that false system under his banner. Okay, so let us go into, okay, let me pray again. Father God, I ask you, Father God, that you open our minds and our heart to receive this message today. I thank you for hearing. I thank you for answering. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. And this says, the great work of the gospel is not to close with less manifestation of the power of God than mark it opening. The prophecy which were filled in the outpouring of the former reign at the opening of the gospel are again to be fulfilled in the latter reign as at its close. Here are the times of refreshing to which the apostle Peter looked forward when he said, Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord, and he shall send Jesus Christ, which before was preached unto you. And you can find this in Acts chapter 3, verses 19 and 20. Servant of God, servants of God, with their face lit up and shining with holy consecration, will hasten from place to place to proclaim the message from heaven, by thousands of voices all over the earth, the warning will be given, miracle will be wrought, the sick, the sick will be healed, and signs and wonders will follow the believers. Satan also works with lying wonders, even bringing down fire from heaven in the sight of men. This is coming from Revelation 13, verses 13. And when you get a chance to read the whole uh, chapter of Revelation 13, and if you, um, and as you read in your Bible, my sister and brother, make sure that you ask in the, the Lord um, for the presence of the Holy Spirit so he could bring uh, understanding to you as you read the Bible. And it states, Thus the inhabitants of the earth will be brought to their, let me go back, Thus the inhabitants of the earth will be brought to take their stand. The message will be carried not so much by argument as by deep conviction of the Spirit of God. The arguments have been presented. The seed has been sown, and now it will spring up and bear fruit. The publication distributes by missionary workers have exerted their influence, yet many who mine are impressed have been prevented from fully comprehending the truth or from healing obedience. Now the rays of light penetrate everywhere. The truth is seen in its clearness and the honest children of God cut off the bands which held them. Families connections, church relations are powerless to stay them now. Truth is more precious than all besides, notwithstanding the agency combined against the truth. A large number take their stand upon the Lord's side. Let me read that. The truth is more precious than all besides, mm. notwithstanding the agency combined 
against the truth. A large number take their stand upon the Lord's side. And that you could also, if you have the book, Great Controversy, I always talk about that. Every household should have the Great Controversy, my sister, my brother. And this is coming, this part is coming from the Great Controversy, pages um, 611 and 612. So that concludes my devotion. True miracles will happen again, my sister, my brother, just like it did before. So get ready, get ready, get ready, my sister, my brother for the powerful outpouring of God's spirit. And so I hope and pray that you have opening your heart to receive uh, the, the power of the Holy Spirit so you too will be able to go out and minister and share the gospel message to a dying world. We have to warn them to repent, to be converted, and to return from their wicked ways and return back to the Lord and do do his precepts, do all the Ten Commandments. I didn't say nine, like most churches doing. I said ten. God has ten. And most people are forgetting the Fourth Commandment, which says, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. God said he gave us six days to do what you want to do, but he asked you for one day, and that was the Sabbath. And it's always and forever will be Saturday. That will never change. Men can change it, whatever they want to do, but it's in the books of God, my sister and brother. It's also stated, I believe, in Isaiah, I believe it's 66, it state from one new moon to another, we will be celebrating the Sabbath. So what does that mean? That you and I need to be celebrating the Sabbath. God's Bible Sabbath. That's what we're God Bible Sabbath. And if you look at Exodus 20 verses 8 through 11 talks about the Sabbath, my sister and brother. So when we talked about the Sabbath, we God has his day, the Sabbath. Man is proclaiming Sunday. So who are you going to believe? Whose side are you on? If you're going to be on God's side, then you're going to do all of his precepts, because he also stated, if you love me, if you love me, he stated, keep my commandments. And I pray, my sister, my brother, that you have made your calling and election sure, standing on the winning team. From Genesis to Revelations, the plan of redemption state that Jesus wins in the end. Let us bow for prayer. Father God, I thank you, Father God, for this message. I thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I thank you for my brothers, my sisters that stopped by here today, Father God. You know their individual uh, struggles, their individual challenges, the bitter cup that you have presented to them, Father God. So Father God, we ask you that you will give us as we put our little bit of sweetener in our bitter cup, Father God, we ask you, Father God, that you will give us the patience, the endurance, and prayer as we go through these difficult, trying times in earth history. And Father God, we thank you for hearing, Father God. I thank you, Father God, that you have already dispatched angels, Father God, to answer our prayer, Father God. We thank you for being such a loving Father, Father God, that you sit high, you look low, and you have already answered our prayer. And for that, we thank you, Father God. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you for hearing. We thank you for answering. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen and amen. Okay, my sister and brother, this is Birdell Warrior. You can go to my YouTube channel and click the subscribe button. I have a wealth of information there for you and your whole entire family. It's kids friendly. You can share, 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 share. And while you're there, you can also go in uh, to bit.ly for my book, bit.ly backslash spiritual warfare 21. Second book is bit.ly backslash the number 15 in compelling reasons 2022 so the first one is a uh it's a prayer journal a prayer journal the second one is uh why we or you should be praying daily actually we should be praying moment by moment because there's so much stuff going on right would you agree would you agree of course you would agree as we could tell i mean I know a lot of people just glue to the TV and you can see all the stuff going on. But my sister, and brother, turn off the TV and, and pick up the word of God. Pick up the word of God. And we know everything that's happening has to happen. And guess what? It's going to increase. It's going to intensify because that's what God states. So with that, my sister, and brother, I love you for taking time out of your business schedule. Stop by here today. May God continue to reach with us, you and your family. Uh, so let us do the four hugs for survival. So here we go. One, two, three. One more. Four. Thank you, my sister and brother. I love you. I appreciate you. Until tomorrow, be blessed and take care. And tomorrow, I will be back on my regular time. 
at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Until then, be blessed and take care.